read decimals correctly, we can actually write decimals as a fraction or mixed number. Let's see what I mean. Here I have, and let's read it correctly, this is 27 hundredths. 27 because this is in the hundredths place. So if I can read it correctly, I can write it correctly as an equivalent fraction. Since this is 27 hundredths as a fraction, this is 27 over 100. And there I've written this decimal number as an equivalent fraction. Now, by the way, let me just mention this pattern. Notice there are two decimal places to the right of the decimal point, and also notice there are two zeros in the denominator. Those two do coincide. 27 hundredths, 27 hundredths. We should check and see if this can be simplified, but 27 has factors of 3, and 3 does not divide into 100 evenly. So here I have written this as an equivalent fraction. Let's try that again. We just need to read the decimals correctly, and we can write them as fractions or mixed numbers. Here we have... Let me write it down, and then we'll read it correctly. 7 decimal point zero zero eight. How can we read this correctly? It is 7 and, let's see, tens, hundreds, thousands. So it's 7 and 8 thousands. By reading it correctly, we can write it correctly, this time as a mixed number. This is the whole number part, so it's the whole number part of the mixed number. And then this is the fractional part, or it becomes the fractional part. It's eight thousands, so we write eight thousands. And then remember, once again, double check, there are three places to the right of the decimal point, and notice there are three zeros. So keep that in mind, that will help you. Once again, we do need to see if we can simplify. 8 and 1,000 do have a common factor of 8. 8 divided by 8 is 1, and 8 divides into 1,125 times. So this is 7 and 1 over 125. So here it is as a decimal, here it is as a mixed number, written in simplest form. Again, we're introducing decimal numbers, or simply decimal 